Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph for a press write for Minecraft 115. Today we're going to have a look at a very complicated program that actually doesn't do very much. <laughs> Let's get started. Right, here's the program. It's actually a large program. I say it doesn't do much. It actually does build a structure. Um, I'm not going to go through it here. We'll have a quick look at um, the stuff. We normally start off here, then we initialize it. So we're checking whether X, what's the condition where well, the position has basically been defined um, and if it has been defined if it's not initially this will be zero if it's not zero um, it will simply come along here and initialize the variables wait five seconds and then it'll start the program running so let's go and take this drone which is here what he's doing is it's taking some from this chest here. it's looking for chests or looking for cobblestone if it's not going to cobblestone it goes and gets cobblestone from a chest but first of all you go and put it down and where we put it down is actually important. So I'm going to put it down, I think, around about here. It needs a vector, so we're going to give it a vector by simply doing an offset. Um, like this. So it's, we can got time to en enable the, the debugging, so we can see what it's doing. So you can see it's in the waiting state. And let's get to the drone debugger. So it's, at the moment it's off, and this works now. You can now drag the the program around so it's going to pick up some cobblestone um 64 it's going to pick up a stack of cobblestone it's going to come down here and it's going to start placing blocks let's get out of the way and it's going to start placing the blocks in the, in an order now normally when you do this you just remember last time it didn't place it in an order it just went around and um build a fl flat structure it did it quite fast too but this one's as you can see is fairly slow and it's going around here building up this structure so then it starts around it's going to do a three by three high well three high structure it's not going to put a lid on it because i don't want it to put a lid on it and then it's going to go back and commit suicide <laughs> as you'll see we're at the moment we're up to floor two let's go up a bit here so as you can see it's it's very busy placing down positions and most of the program is actually calculating the next position of the of the um where the drone's going to place the block so this in itself is really not very useful is it so let's have a look at doing something slightly more useful with a piece that i have actually not found any information for at all so this is the fourth the fourth floor where the roof would be need to get out of the way of course and watch it doing its stuff now it's run out of it's run out of materials so now it's going back and to picking up some more materials so we have a look at the process here it's, it's doing this bit it's actually coming back to place more blocks down here and i think it places another eight blocks Oh, it's going kind of dropping down there, but it's, it's doing what you're supposed to do. And then when it's finished, which it should be here now, it should go back, go back to a chest that's or near to the chest. Uh, and this chest has got in it a um, magnetic upgrade, so it's a it's a smart chest. So it's going to come along here and just and get picked up. So it ends up in here, as you can see, the drones in here, and it also put back any materials it's got left over. So the what is all this about? And I haven't done this yet. We'll see if it actually works. I want to change this program and make it do a different structure. So what I'd like it to do is to do alternate blocks of uh, cobblestone and stone. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend this program. As you can see, it's really a very it's quite a large program here. But I don't need any of these bits. We can get rid of these. Um, let's drop them off the side here. These were bits for testing which I don't need so what we're going to do is we kind of come along here and then zoom in into this bit and we're going to check whether the drone's got some enough cobblestone in it um, and if it has we go and import it so we'll have to raise this up a lot here up here probably like this we can raise up the init block as well to get, make sure it's with it so we're then going to add into here some more bits so we're going to first we import cobblestone um and then we're going to import we're going to check and import whether we've got any stone i'm just trying to move this out of the way so let's just duplicate this block here so it's saying anything less than or equal to zero if it's true then we're going to load 
stone up. So we're not going to load cobblestone up. We're going to basically duplicate this block here as well. And we're going to use the same position as it happens to be the same chest. I could have put a variable for this. But for some reason, I haven't done. And we're going to change this. Instead of being a, a cobblestone, we're going to make this to stone. So let's just search for item stone. Unfortunately, there's quite a lot of stones. And I think this is that's infested stone. In this particular case, it would be easier to use. Uh, there we go, infested stone. It would be actually st easier to search from the inventory it's right down the bottom edge it's ordinary stone like this so that's the piece we're going to do we're also going to re replicate this bit here so we're going to bring this across here and then we're going to load stone not oh, that won't work I've not enough space let's move this down a bit and it sounds like it's night time <laughs> as usual so we'll call this one load stone I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. Right, it's daytime. So I don't want this piece here. I can get rid of this one. Let's press, just highlight it and press delete. Don't want that one. We want lodestone instead. So we're going to lodestone into the other inventory. It has to have two slots, this drone. And then, instead of doing this, we're going to place a bit, rather than place this particular block, we are going to go and do something slightly different. Uh, and this is a piece we've I've never used and I've actually not seen any examples of it being used. It's a for each loop uh, and it's for an each item loop. So we're going to come maybe just put this down here like this. And what are these two? So let's press tab and find that the piece. So we want the for each. In fact, it's for each item is this one. Oops, up there. It's this one. There's two for eaches in this. There's one for items and one for coordinates. Now, I, I think I covered coordinates in the real tech series. So here we have. Oh, I've got a visitor. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to get rid of him and these guys. No nuisance. All right, so you now you just got a message at the bottom saying I've been fed with cooked chicken. <laughs> so this, right, that's right. So let's carry on with this. So at this time, we're going to do a. Oh, it's the wrong place. It needs to be here. So we're going to get loop for each item and then we're going to place the, the blocks down. So in this particular case, we've got a number of items we want us to do. So one of the items is going to be cobblestone and the other item we're going to make is going to be stone. Let's just, here it is. So you can stack those up like that. In fact, what you can actually do um, is you could actually make multiples. So you could have, for example, so you do one cobblestone and then two stones. And you can also actually update this one of these signs in here. This particular sign, if I hide, if I preview the area, I think is this one to my right here. Yes, it is. So we do have another a line, and there was actually a change made that allows you to see which block it is. So instead of using this, we're now going to use a variable. So the variable we're going to say is we, we actually need to specify in here because we haven't done it yet. Is um, let's say block but blocks a bit bad name so we'll just say wall block try again gotta get the right one so wall block for example is a, is a variable name so then we've got this will then iterate here and give you a wall block so what we need to do is too much two more things we need to say we need a jump block obviously to get to this label like this and, and then is that we're going to have it in here a place block variable so that's the that's the label we're going to jump to so it's going to iterate through each one of these placing the block and this one instead of having an item filter of this one we can get rid of that and we can specify here a block so we can say wall block um i don't know if i can get rid of it. let's just be on the safe side i to remove that put in a new a new item piece in here like this let's try that one wall block and you could actually update this label as well or another sign with which block we're actually placing down so it's going to iterate through this um, I think that we could we could do this by simply moving this down a little bit here like this but it's a bit it's a bit cramped at the moment so let's maybe remove this down here try again Move this out to the side, bring this back up again. 
and then we can put this into here like this something like this should do I hope I've got to be watch out that it doesn't, t doesn't touch the pieces if it doesn't it starts to fail so we can then simply take along this one replicate this one and make it a word block on the outside of it it was yes it's actually wall block isn't it So that's the, the variable we're going to put in here. We'll just call it BLK as a short form, like that. So it's going to print out the, the block as it's doing it. And then it's going to come along here, and then it's going to go through all of this code. And when it's finished this code, it's going to come back here and place the next one. So we should see we should see cobblestone block, uh, stone stone, and cobblestone coming through this. So let's go and do that. I need to program that drone again. So at the moment we already had 155 pieces in this drone. As you can see. It's a fairly big program. It's a fairly big program indeed it is. So let's just put this one into here like that. 158 pieces. Don't need those in there now, do I? Actually I've got oh, quite a lot of um, leather from those two. <laughs> So first of all, we're going to break away this structure. I've got my um, pickaxe here, and I just need to change the mode of the pickaxe. I was think I was doing something before, no shape. Let's just break it all up. And that was, then we get the blocks back. So you can see which direction it went in. So for example, we could place the drone down here. Again, it's diagonal. So I want to place it, say, down here like this. And then we'll see what it does. So I'm, Oops, that's uh, drone debugger. I need to highlight it first of all, don't I? And I missed it. Doesn't really matter that much. Let's go back over here and see if we can actually get it in time. So it's going to come over here very fast and pick up the stuff. But what I want to see is here is what's coming on this one. So it says block cobblestone. As you can see here, it says block cobblestone. So the next thing it should do, so now it says block stone. Let me just. Uh, remove the highlight from that one that was the I think it was one of these um, which one doesn't really matter to be honest with you oops it does I have to pick up a, a block with a, uh, an area which it that's right I just turn it off the preview and it should turn off this preview here so it's now doing block cobblestone as you can see so now it should be building a structure with cobblestone every alternate block for some reason it missed a block here It comes up here and it starts to do it again. So we're getting two, two stone and one cobblestone. It missed it because, <laughs> probably because the, the the sentry turret's in the wrong place. Never mind. And then it comes back up here, places another layer, and that's the last layer. Oops, I'm a bit too down. Let's go back up again. And that's it, it's finished. So it's now going to go and put back its inventory and commit suicide. <laughs> cool, isn't it? That, and while that's doing that, let's just break this stuff up because I don't want it in a way. As you can see, it's actually formed a reasonable pattern. Anyway, that's what it was about. And it took me quite a long time to write this program, as you can imagine. The, the, the positioning of these items is quite tricky. Um, let, shall we, if you want to know how it's done, let's have a look. So the first block you come here, we've got directions. So this is the direction. So what it says here, I've got some direction pieces. And the direction pieces are basically south, east, north and west. So it's giving you here different coordinates. So south is um, one in the z direction. East is one in the, we in the x, sorry, yeah, one in the x direction. North is minus one in the z and west is minus one in the west direction and in the x direction sorry so now yeah that's right so those are the four coordinates and the direct the start off with the direction here i probably would have been better to do it like this let's just do, change it because then it's obvious what i'm doing let's put this down here like that and then we can say we're going to start in the south direction so instead of using one 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 here we'll just get rid of that and then when we use a variable, we'll say south. 
no, no. And that'll do the same thing. So the direction is going to go south first of all. It's going to place the first block down in the south direction. Um, and that's here. So it's first of all checking which direction we're going in. So if we're going in the direct the south direction, it then does a check. And what it's checking for, it says it's checking south, and here's south. And what it's doing is it's checking whether position in the z direction here is greater than the maximum position. Maximum position is calculated from the minimum um is the yes, the minimum position plus four five. 4, 3, 5. So 4 in the X, 3 up and 5 across. And this is the minimum direction. It's basically where the drones put down minus 1. Um, drones always start where your feet are, which is actually not the position you want it to be in. You want it to be one block below that. Or it might be where your head is. So, uh, so it wants to be on the ground, basically. So you have to drop one down. So then it's adding this to that, and it's giving me max. So we've got minimax here. And I'm using minimax. So first of all, it's checking for the max here. And if it is more than the max, then it's going to go east. Now, go east is... is um, let's go east. Here we are. So it just simply sets the direction, in the case of go east, to going eastwards. So that the direction now becomes eastwards. And it starts back at the beginning of the program. Let's move this stuff around a bit. Because it's probably easier to see if I do this one. So now it's going eastwards. So this time it says it's not going south so we're going to check whether it's going to go east and you can see here I'm checking for this x direction so it's not south so we don't know which direction it's going in here but then checking the direction if it's east if it's east then it's going to go eastwards it's basically just checking the x and z's I think that happens in all cases yes it does good and then we can and then we carry on. So basically the logic sort of stays the same until we get to the last one where it goes up. Like this. And we're checking west. If west is finished, we go through this. So it's it's all the same code, basically. And then we update the position. So all of these, once when they're finished, update the position. So the position gets 1 plus the direction. Um, there's a 2 second wait till that. don't need that anymore. Let's just get rid of this. And we don't need these anymore either. That was just to wait to check whether or not um, that was for the variables here. So you just wait a few seconds for the variables. Let's just get rid of those. And that's it. And then when it's finished, it goes back here to the chest where it gets the stuff out of and it just deposits everything in there. And then goes across a little bit more to where the um, smart chest is and commits suicide. And that's it. And when it, when it commits suicide, it gets picked up by the chest because the smart chest got in it a magnet upgrade here. And you can then see what the area is here. But the area is I've changed it to being in front of the chest here. So it's these three positions. So it's basically a three by three in front of the chest. So that's that's fine. That works just perfectly. And I've run that quite a few times, uh, and it does work quite nicely. Well, that's the last drone program I'm going to write. But I'm going to write one more program. We're going to have a quick look at that now. So if I look at this particular block here, the programmable controller, this one, it says shift to information. So it's a machine that you can use as a replacement for the drone. Program within a network API or drone and place it inside the gear slot. At, any, at a rate of 10 milliliters of air per tick, the controller will execute the program pieces uh, excluding, see excluding pieces. So we look at the book and it tells us about this. So, so basically, this is a static drone, and it's very good for um, things that we can't do easily. It's of large areas. I never built, I never used it, and never built it. Well, let's see if we can go and build it. So we need a drone. Okay, I'm not going to make the drone. We need a printed circuit board. We need a remote control. I'm not sure what the recipe for the remote control is. Let's have a look at that one. I've added it to here. We'll add the net network PCI in here as well. So the drone, the recipe for this one is this. That remote control which we've built already. We need some more. It's quite a reasonable amount of plastic. Oh, that does remind me. I'm going to turn this 
drone on now because we have got in here I think this one is full it is full so I'm going to turn it on it's not full of plastic yet let it let it heat up and make some plastic I changed the program so that I could actually use a small tank beside it so we'll turn this program on in fact it might well be on it anyway let's have a look yeah, I've got 36 pieces of plastic in there which should probably be fine for now and I'm going to let it run for a while let's just let it fill up here and then make sure that you see this has got warm this is starting to make plastic and as soon as it starts to make plastic I think this program is still running so it's going to turn this on to start cooling things down but this is a lot faster than the cooling mechanism so I'm going to let this get full to 16 buckets and then we should get around about um, probably 24 pieces of plastic out of it it's one and no it's actually maybe more we'll probably get thir 28 or something like that pieces of plastic out of it we'll see so as soon as it's cooled down the chest this will start to work and I'm going to turn it off as as, as well this comes up comes up to here like that so it should now have enough should now be full of plastic it is and this should slowly cool down and the I'm um, probably get one extra bucket's worth I think let's just have a look indeed we are so it might even get two extra buckets but it depends on how fast this this process works so we only got one sheet of plastic that time let's just sort it so it goes that way anyway I'll let that run and then when it's finished it will turn off and it, nothing else will happen so that's fine so what I'm going to do now is make this thing probably actually probably make most of this off camera because we've already done a lot of it uh, and I'll some all the bits we haven't done off, I'll do those on camera I'll see you in a few seconds right I need to go to the village to get another drone because I haven't got a drone but I built this farm in the meantime and this farm is um, one to produce wood essence and uh, coal essence and send those back down to the to the place I've also got in here oh, I don't need the dams to put those away you can put anything in here as it happens uh, and it'll get through it's also got some water and some uh, dirt seeds in this corner here and there they will then produce um, clay that's the intention of those and the clay we can then use to basically do trading with I think I've got quite a reasonable amount that's going to take a stack or two of emeralds and get some more bits and pieces that we need from the from the village I see I've got plenty of emeralds up here at the moment it's still 90 let's take three stacks of those oh four stacks that'll do if I've got enough space which I haven't I'll have to get rid of something I've got a block of wood in here I don't need that plank of wood and the rest is fine I think entity tracker upgrade not sure where that belongs in Maybe I took it out of something. I'm not sure exactly. I shouldn't really expect to see that with me. I must have broken something within it. I've forgotten. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Um, let's put the, the jet boots on. And the idea of the farm is basically to produce enough fuel so that the coal making drone can run all the time. As I kept finding out I was running out of fuel. So the village is just here. And the two... Um, mechanics are down here somewhere there we are <laughs> for some reason they came over here so i put down an extra um charging station because without that then they're not much use so here we've got a drone here we'll just need one of these guys just for that thing we also probably need some more um transistors so let's just take out four transistors because i just used up two and the other guy over here will do me, give me the other two so where is he so he'll give me capacitors so we get four of those. I had to use up four for that, that stuff. Um, also use them for PCBs, but we've got enough for the time being. And quite often I'll take some more pieces. So this one here is trading puzzle pieces. Um, let's take another 16 puzzle pieces like that. And also I've got micro missiles and armor piercing money. Again. And this one also has these mini things. We've got armor piercing and we've got incendiary mini gun ammo here which isn't too expensive as it happens all right that's it i'm going to go to go back again i'll just disable the boots i want to disable those 
I usually check their health on them here as well because they, for some reason or other, are getting hurt. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're not full health, but they're not too far off it. So what I could do here is just throw down some instant health so they don't run away. Like that. And then they get a bit more health. Yeah, I think they're now fully fully healed. I quite often just throw down some regen potion for them when they get. So what the idea is I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be clearing this area out here and protecting that village. And for that, that's what we're going to use this new block for. Just turn off those and we drop down nicely and we can then finish off this this piece here. So what are we missing? And we should be missing two pieces. So we need a network registry, which is lime I haven't made one of these before, that's a new one. So now we should be able to craft up one of these. Uh, drone. <laughs> Have I got my thing on? Is it pressuring up this drone here? Indeed it is. Okay, never mind. So I have to try to remember the recipe. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually, I didn't really want it to do that. Never mind. It's done now. So what have you got? Four at the corners. Okay, let's have a look. So this one's the one I've got here. So that goes in the top. This goes in the bottom. Four pieces of compressed iron, I think. Try that again. One advanced, one of those. One drone in the middle. And the last thing was... GPS tool. Nope, I haven't got that right. What am I missing? That's a printed circuit board, wasn't it? Phew. So now I've got, I can make this up. And of course, we're then going to have to, um, let's put it down. It's going to need pressure, this thing. And you can see it needs a, a maximum of 20, 20 bar. So there we have a little mini, a little drum. This is the gear here. So what we do is we program it up and we put the the program into here. And then it takes different upgrades into here. So look what upgrades we've got on it. So what we've got, inventory upgrades. Okay, so we can increase the inventory here. So one stack, by default the drone can stay in one stack of items. And then we can increase that by th to up to 35 stacks which will be a fairly decent sized chest by itself we can have a security upgrade which what does this do okay that's to stop it getting blowing up that's fine yes speed up so upgrade and volume upgrades um all right i'm going to make some of these but i think that's it for this episode so we've made it and you can see it's going to need but i'm going to have to build another compressor i should probably build another liquid compressor an advanced liquid compressor or an advanced compressor like this one and then we can feed this in so at the moment i think let's have a look it was around oh yes that's gone up a lot it i wasn't keeping up with this at all now it's really gone up a lot and we can do a, a tremendous amount of this in fact what we can also do is take a stack of those put everything in here that i don't need um arrows is actually one i do need so let's let's put everything in here that I get rid of in fact it might be a good idea to take stuff out that we don't actually need at the moment and then we can put those into here like this and then we can go and make some um, clay up now I'm not sure whether or not the drone is actually it's still available clay let's go and put these transistors and stuff away in here so we've got four transistors four of those and we've got some more puzzle pieces which we'll probably need for the next one Got plenty of plastic as it happens, so don't need to do much with that. So now we've got a reasonable amount of stuff in. Let's just sort our inventory out. So now let's go back and get those those things because I double click this didn't I? And took them out of my inventory. Like that. And these will also increase at a reasonably good range. So let's have a look at the use of this. Uh, in fact, what I should really do is so yes, let's do the use of this one. And then get to clay and let's uh, just save the recipe by pressing a on that one and then we can press clay at any time and shift click it in so we can basically get that much and i think i've got my amadron tablet in here i have and we can go and check whether or not we still got clay as a as a as a trade it was there was just a few minutes ago there was a, a clay trade available so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to put this and stuff into here like that 
and let's have a look if it's available as you can see we can simply shift click this up to get 76 emeralds from that one <laughs> two stacks of stuff let's place the order in fact we can do that again and this drone will come down here and give me 76 emeralds so it's not too bad I'm, I quite like that trade it's one of my favorites the other ones are iron because I got tons and tons of iron I'm not using anywhere near it as I would have should be see I've got 12k of, of iron which gives you around about 8,000 ingots of iron so now we've got those and of course I can repeat this trade a lot so I've got 70, 80, 72 no, 76, that's right. Well, that's it for this episode. Oh, I did get 30 pieces of plastic. As you can see, I'm just running the drone, just the program that actually we wrote today. Um, next time we'll be doing some clearing out and making sure that we can actually use the programmable controller and see how it gets on. Uh, the idea being to make that village safe so what i'd like to do is clear away all the trees we'll probably use the harvesting drone for that and build a moat around it so until next time i wish you all the best bye for now